Hello, everyone. Hello. Glad that you're here and joining us. Did you turn off the Do Not Disturb? Sorry, just wondering. It is. Oh, great. Yes. Okay. Um, hold on. We'll see if anyone's joined us yet. Um, welcome. I'd like to give you a little time to come into the room as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we're just uh, pulling this up on our iPad so we can see your comments. Mm -hmm. There we are. Oh, you can see you can see one of the bowls. <laughs> okay. You can see more than I more than I realized. That's good. Uh, there's our number climbing up. Yes. Thank you for joining us, for uh, all of us that are gathering in this room, for this intention, and being together. Um, that might be yeah. the, the biggest part of what we're doing today, is, is just setting an intention to gather around this Syrian gateway, which is an opportunity to, to connect with support and uh, so we want to feel that together and talk more about that today as well as have a, a meditation to assist in that connection yeah where um, it was interesting because I don't even think two days ago we knew what we were going to do today yeah and now we have a six love stream series mm -hmm. that we're offering you and that's kind of how it is around here yeah. um, six weeks in a row yeah and we were planning to do and we have been doing these love streams actually i think this is our sixth one interestingly yeah. um so we've already been doing these every week but connecting them to Lionsgate was a new download a new intention um it came into my awareness the serious gateway uh just a couple days ago because I, it's interesting. I don't track these things mentally. I don't have them in my calendar or anything like that. I don't really follow people who are talking about them necessarily. It, it's really intuitive. It just it just comes into my awareness, and then and then I kind of oh I should research this or or look into this a bit more or feel into it. So it's not so much a mental awareness that's leading, but the but the intuitive and. Lionsgate, of course, is something that we have shared about, um, even celebrated as a community for many, many years now. So that on August 8th also is very commonly known in spirituality and in ascension circles as being a cosmic Christmas, it's called. So there can be a lot of buildup to... Um, August 8th anyway and uh, you do not I'm trying to just try to find the comments in the because uh, I can go there okay and then so I go there usually if you swipe to the left yeah and we have comments I see them on our phone camera but just not my iPad and I don't know what's going on yeah there. one second everyone um, I always found that challenging too I did find them for you one time yeah, we stumbled on them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can ask our Syrian aspects for some help. Um, there. Oh. If well, you put, if well, you. What did you do? If you click on the little comment thing. On the comment thing, okay. You can see them. I'll try not to touch anything. And keep um, I don't think I can even do that on mine, but I can do it on yours. Okay. Um, now you can see them, right? Oh, you can see them really well. Yes. Okay, I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> <laughs> thanks okay, for, thanks for bearing with us, everyone. Yes. Um, yeah, so, so then as, as we were feeling into the, the serious gateway, and I was sharing about that yesterday, I went into meditation this morning, as I usually do, and meditation for me is a very loose 
a term for just going into a theta place of receiving. We both yeah. do that. Yeah. Whenever we've tried to have any kind of protocol around it to do a specific kind of pranayama or a specific kind of meditation, it, it always seems to unfold into mm -hmm. uh, this combination of prayer with the divine, yeah. connecting with parts of ourselves, connecting with soul aspects. We will often even drop in together into a theta state, meditative state, and connect that way. We, we were doing that even, yeah. this, even this week. Yes. And so I did that, I'm kind of setting up here. Yeah. I did that um, this morning, intending to connect to the Sirius Gateway, and uh, particularly my Octurian aspect that I had felt during a recent session and kind of brought back the galactic energies to me because I haven't been as tuned into them. It's kind of like they're always tuned in to us. We're just not always necessarily tuned into them, depending on what our process is at the time or what it is that we're needing. And as I tuned into this um, energy of galactic and cosmic and that kind of thing, it became pretty clear that we needed to do this series, to do six activations, six transmissions leading up to Lionsgate, which is on a Thursday, and that each of them would have a, a purpose, would have a focus, basically tuning you into whatever field of awareness that we're offering um, and, and sharing a bit about it and, and getting, getting your intentions toward that area of focus as well, specifically related to upgrading, what upgrading means to you, not necessarily what it means to us or what we're saying it means, but what it means to you to be upgraded in this particular area of, of your life and focus and awakening journey, healing process, and just inviting that field of awareness together in this, this hour of time that we have, whether you join us live for it or take it in later as a recording. And that, that felt like the intention. And I, I was already feeling, oh, let's do a light body love stream in the next couple of weeks because in sessions I've been seeing and hearing from from women about their physical struggles and chronic pain or chronic illness or perimenopause. Raphael and I both have our own trans body transitions that we share about and are going through. Yet when I put it into the context of this series, then it started feeling like, oh, there's a, there's a, obviously a whole upgrade going on here for the light body out of a dense uh, carbon-based um, reality and into more of a light body so that then it's okay if I just keep Please. going okay uh, just to be able to set it up here so that kind of naturally this one this focus today will be on the serious gateway and we'll t share with you more in a moment about what that is specifically and what we feel it offers and then the next one on July 10th will be focused on the upgrading of the physical body in the ways that I just described. Then on the 17th, and this is all listed in the event itself, in the Facebook event, then the 17th will be about um, emotional trauma, I need my glasses, and, and 3D programming upgrades. So kind of like whatever is a belief system connected to your emotions, um, what's, what's ready to go to the next place here around that, or ready for release, or ready for clearing. And then on the 24th, we will move into the relationship field of resonance and dissonance. So whatever may be going on for you socially, that you're ready to upgrade or move into more alignment within yourself, your relationships within, and your relationships with others. 
And then on the 31st, the end of July, we'll feel into other lifetimes, other timelines. Maybe you're tuning into Egypt as well, Egyptian lifetimes or Isis or other energies that maybe you've resonated with for a long time, pyramids. Uh, obviously the, the Lion's Gate, which will be our last activation in this series on 8-8 is all about the alignment that occurs during Lion's Gate with the planet Sirius, the, the star, the star system, and Leo being in the sun sign and Orion's belt and, and how it aligns with the Giza pyramid. So the Egyptians looking at this and, and feeling it was really a profound alignment and perhaps created the pyramids to align. And, and the pyramids, I was saying to Raphael, feel to me like communication upgrade chambers, essentially linking the galactic to inner earth, um, the same as the standing stones felt as well. And that's just my interpretation or my sense of it that I've been offered. So that's where we're going. That's the lay of the land, this mm. series. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so that, hopefully you can feel your personal relationship to this and not be invalidated by someone else's. Because uh, in this room today, there might be those that have already an easy access to starseed aspects and and or you might be feeling like you really had none but the common denominator we can share is need and desire in this um, space and surrendering to reaching out to support knowing that this is in our collective consciousness mm -hmm. there's uh, many souls who do feel this and even if you don't what about just surrendering with an open heart to those who have made this bridge? And so this is our, our bigger picture isn't about starseed connection as, as much as it is about individuation, reconciliation and unification and all of that inner work that's involved then this whole series of the next six weeks offers six individual windows of bridging to a support mm -hmm. that we want to cultivate together with you in the room with your intention, with your desire, with your need. That uh, is the, the deeper piece here. And so there's no cookie cutter experience of what this should be or what is the right way to experience this. Which describes everything we offer, actually. Yeah. Sessions, group calls, our gatherings, our live events, this. It's really about your personal experience here, shared in a unified field with Soul Family. So we will give you some pointers, even in the guided meditation, uh, and yet these are not to be taken uh, literally or feel like this is how it's supposed to be. It's really more what is available to you right now. What might be available is sleeping. For example, even the group call that we did bridging to the inner protector on Sunday, um, some people slept through the whole thing. That was what they needed. Their protector needed to sleep and just take in the codes. Some people had very elaborate, specific journeys uh, with their protector and other aspects. And that's, that's also usually people who've been in this process with us, working with us for quite a long time. And, and you might even, might even hear people in the community like Kasha or Rihanna, who it's been years. So we really want to relax on any kind of expectation, if you can feel the part of you that might <laughs> already be telling you, um, we don't connect galactically, we don't know what this means, we don't understand star seeds or what they're talking about. Um, and just let that sort of breathe and let that, any kind of inner comparison or inner punisher, um, just to, to relax that and just receive from the field 
whatever is meant for you, it might surprise you actually how much you can see and feel that you can't normally. And usually that has to do with just the, the inner protector, as we call it, the main defense or the gatekeeper, which is more of the protector of the soul field, just starting to relax, you know, mm-hmm. just feeling like, okay, it is safe here to lift the veil yeah. on this. Or the awarenesses may come later in dream state or um, what feels like imagination or fantasy that kind of thing, which is actually the clairvoyance, the third eye opening, opening out. Mm -hmm. So we really wanted to say that uh, as a relationship to the series and to this um, activation today. Yeah, right. So we're not coming from a place (laughs) of knowing, we're coming from a place of beginner heart, beginner mind, and need, and a trust inviting our inner protector and our gatekeeper to trust that the burden of the veil that we feel is a necessary thing to our growth and our consciousness and yet it can feel constricting and limiting that these soul connections these soul aspects of ours and these star seed um, our Syrian aspect is us expressing on another timeline Mm -hmm. and though of course this timeline is the one that's most apparent to us and transparent to us that just this intention of bringing the need and the desire opens out a support and of course there would be support for us Um, this feels and and I'm, I'm reminded too that others can feel a hesitation around some of this because we're going into the you know they can feel a dark energy and you need a bunch of caution you won't hear us giving a lot of time and attention to that discussion because we feel that uh, although that dark realm exists when you bring love and light into your inner realm that's what you're seeing and feeling when you go inward Mm-hmm. And that all wants to be transformed into the benevolence of you to you. And then what you experience when we go into a galactic connection becomes just more of a mirror of that. So we are, we're not denying that that doesn't exist for people, that there's attacks and entities and, and a, that kind of experience. But we really feel that it can be negotiated and regulated from our own inner work. And I think to connecting with your inner protector that will just organically happen being in our field whether you connect consciously or not they screen it they they bring in the best energies for you and I I've always been amazed at this over the years over several years how this has been the case. Mm-hmm. So there, I already see them kind of gallantly, we're protecting this space, you know, they're keeping it high frequency for us is what it feels like. Mm-hmm. Um, I did want to read Demetra's comment because she was already mm-hmm. sort of commenting on what we wanted to ask you to comment on before we go into the transmission and a, and a little bit more sharing. And that is what your intention for this call is today you could speak to this or for the series as a whole what you're feeling is um, your upgrade that's available to you or that you would like to upgrade and maybe keep it to a sentence a sentence or two at the most so that we can say them out loud we would like to say them out loud Um, for our people who watch this later on YouTube who aren't on Facebook but also because you are most likely speaking for someone else in your intention and then we can we can that can land in our heart as well so um, maybe you could turn that notification off no No? that's not that's a Facebook live notification oh it is yep that's strange 
Okay, so Demetra, it's interesting that last year I had a future aspect of mine bring up this year's Lions Gate 2024 as a portal. Mm -hmm. A premonition nudge that it will deeply trans be tra deeply transformative for me in parts and now reflecting back. It's not a mere coincidence for me being part of the series. Grateful mm -hmm. to be here. Aww. And we're glad you're here too, Demetra. Yeah, we really had that exact same, that's interesting, because we had that same poignant sense. Uh, this year. As, the, as last year was closing, that mm -hmm. how big this year was going to be, and there was a sense of the mid-year point being big. Um, and 2024 being an eight year, a year of unification, um, infinite love symbol, you mm -hmm. know, divine union. So that those yeah. codes all felt mm -hmm. quite strong to us. Yeah. Do you want to read Kasha's comment there? Kasha says, I feel like I'm being called to tune into ancient Egypt this year, especially every year it comes up, but this mm -hmm. year it feels like time to feel it deeper. Yes. Yeah, um, there can there can either be an idolization of Egypt or a vilification. I find so it's kind of pol it's polarized. There there's a lot of polarized timelines that come through there, and we'll focus on that in that um, in that love stream. We'll, we'll share a whole lot more about that, and this certainly brings brings it up into our awareness so that we can reconcile with soul aspects that's how we work with it rather than just seeing it as past lives that we lived uh, i lived i was a this in in egypt in a past life we actually relate to it in the quantum field of now as not happening in the past so even when we say the way that egyptians held this serious gateway we can feel aspects of us that still hold it that way that still hold a sacredness in the in the quantum field of now I keep doing this. <laughs> this is what my hands do. They usually actually configure something. Um, so if you if you can feel even if you close your eyes and feel the quantum field of now, it's just infinite spreading in all directions, right? And all of these timelines are within that field, which is embodied collectively, is shared collectively and access collectively but also each of us can access it as well and that's partly where we will be working these codes is in that quantum field and i want to say about this gateway which i shared a little bit about in the description it was really the first time they could see this bright star during the day and so it was aligning with the sun so the spiritual sun and the physical sun coming together and it coincided with the Nile flooding and this agricultural harvest and abundance and fertility and summertime so to me it feels like quite a celebratory time like a high time mm -hmm. of the year the same with Lionsgate and in a, in a sense that as this was happening there would be more vivid dreams, um, intuition would be heightened, more sense that the veils would get thinner. And I do notice this every year during this time. Um, it also coincides with when crop circle season um, starts, and it's been a slow one so far. I've been watching them taking, there's only been a couple of them, and they just haven't felt high frequency enough to me to share yet. Something's happening there. Um, that I'll feel into with mm. with uh, with aspects of mine, but it feels like the crop circle thing is is kind of fading, so that we will go inward, so that we will receive um, the activations that we need from the inside rather than looking for them on the outside. That's what I because there used to be you know many by now there would be many many elaborate formations occurring and. Um, yeah, so mm. uh, would you want to say anything about this particular gateway that you feel or? Well, it feels really poignant for me. I was afforded a breakthrough of, of uh, 
really personal, amazing proportions of <laughs> connecting to an aspect of mine that felt some areas of limitation open out into something new. And then right after that was this awareness of the Syrian gateway. And for me, it was particularly in the morning time when I'm the most opened out. Uh, it's interesting that today is we're recording this at 6 p.m. So I'm a bit more tired <laughs> and feel lower energy. I feel lower energy and a bit more foggy and accepting all of that, that range of the experience. But in the morning time, I particularly feel uh, just an, an awareness of reaching out to my Syrian aspect that I've connected with before. And, and I felt the name Osiris for him, uh, partly because Osiris is connected to the portal, but in his name is the, is the, uh, the SIR of Syrian. Mm. And just to, there's a particular piece of music. I think Kasha has it. Yeah. That she could share. We thought to share it with you because it was it was quite stimulating and activating to us today. Yeah, and so I just play that music in my headphones or or in the room, and feel my heart reaching out to this aspect and this soul family connection, star seed. Um, whatever language we put around it is so secondary. It is this feeling connection of feeling support and I can just feel my heart going into these dimensions and just by opening this intention and this is why we want to ask you what your intention your desire your need is because that's what we feel opens and makes for this connection so mm -hmm. um, there's no exact template of oh this is how it needs to look and feel um, for me, I could feel a lot of support and even feel, of course, there is support around what each of us are negotiating and expanding and and uh, inviting that into, as you said, into our dream space, into our awareness mm -hmm. and into our heart and feeling space. So, yeah. Did you want to read some of the... Yeah, Rihanna said... Um, Intentions? I feel an, an intention to connect to a higher context that the Syrians can help me access as my service of love self and leadership purpose wants to clarify and become more embodied. That's a really beautiful hmm. intention. So it's, it's in alignment with something that's in your desire body in your yearning, aching, what do you feel is next? And this wants to be grounded into what, what's going on in your life right now? What, do you, what is it that your parts of you are finding frustrating? What's the point of reconciliation and movement that you would like to offer to them mm -hmm. and then bridging to this higher heart support? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you want me to read one? You, um, you had him up there. Yeah, Sarah Jane. Thank you, and Sarah Jane. And Nikki as well. Okay. I seem to be having astral sex with lion gods again. Wow, okay. Okay. So I want to be able to <laughs> round my energies out in order that I fulfill the creation purposes that I am being tasked with. My twin is off planet and might even be uh, Mahes. Egyptian god, son of Bast and Pra, mm -hmm. and as ever, I'm pretty clueless. Okay, well, it sounds like you've opened out some very specific. That doesn't sound clueless. There, wow, and um, that's awesome and amazing. Yeah, interesting where this takes you. Then this series going into relationships and the body. Uh, wow, yeah. And who else do we have? Demetra and Nikki, I think. Do you not see? Oh, up a bit, maybe be back a little. No, Nikki was down at the bottom. 
I see. I can read hers. This is the oh, time of year yeah. I come online, as it were. I'm feeling shifts, my old self letting go of what no longer serves. The past is rapidly going away. And I'm looking forward to guidance in helping me balance the changes and shifts. I'm grateful for you all. Mm. Thank you. Guidance in helping me balance the changes and shifts. That mm. is a really... I'm glad you mentioned that because that's a really big piece of it. And I think we're we're hoping that you, that some of that occurs just in in being in this in this field together and talking mm-hmm. like this yeah. something gets felt that maybe isn't able to in your world and also your inner world of course more balance occurring there too mm-hmm. um and then i think demetra yeah and then we'll we will go into the transmission My intention for this Lionsgate portal is inner reclaiming empowerment as well as outer and deeper sacred union. I kept feeling my inner lion and my lioness in their playful sacred pride land. Mm. (laughs) I love that. Yeah. Mm. And I I think that's... permission. Yeah. It's a really sweet... I think uh, Mufasa, the Lion King movie, comes out. I need to check what date it comes out, but that would be amazing if it came out during this time. Um, Because there's something in that that's just um, really tunes in this energy as well. So we can can Mm. be as playful as we want with all of this for sure and when you're when you're connecting to a star seed there is a there is a playful energy as well so that feels beautiful Demetra okay well let's see let's see where we go I'm just gonna put down my my things here set up too (laughs) here we go so of course you can close your eyes and get comfy if you want and just tune inward and of course where you are Feel free to let out your tones. It can really be a broadcast of your intention, your desire.
allow yourself to open up to your imagination here especially. As you're looking up in the sky, you may notice that you've shifted into another part or aspect. Maybe a star seed aspect of you that got or feels left behind and misses your star family, your galactic family.
feel my Syrian aspect inviting me to feel its heart for me and for each of us and for this room. Feeling their care for us. You are in our hearts. We are aware of you and deeply curious about your mental and emotional states, your circumstances as individuals in your communities, your soul family bridging to one another and the larger human collective on Gaia, on planet Earth. And we are here for you. Bridging is as simple as your desire, your need, and your intention, and your yielding opens the access trusting that your soul, your veil, protection that exists around you holds all of it, cares for all of it, and opens out perfect connection that you're ready to receive at this time. And that is nourishing. Mm -hmm nourishment for us with you to gently move into your body, into your being and into this unified field we've created together. feel free to share with us in the days to come things you notice and feel for like now for now we have a little time now yeah. <laughs> if you want to share now yeah feel free um, and if you're watching this on the recording here on Facebook or on YouTube mm -hmm. we'd love to hear what this may have opened up for you Mm. It felt um, pretty dynamic for not a very long period of time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> felt like time kind of stalled, stopped, and expanded, and mm -hmm. and even I felt I felt it too. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. I felt a lot of trust, support for trust and yielding mm -hmm. and surrender and deepening and being with what is and, and allowing it all to ground and move. Kasha said she went to some interesting places. Okay. If you want to share a little, Kasha, we can take that in. And Demetra says it was deep. For those of you who are just scrolling by and catching a, a moment of this, I do recommend taking the whole thing in from the beginning if you can. And the recording will be here on Facebook, of course, and we'll also upload a version of it in, um, into YouTube as well on our YouTube channel. I see um, singing in light language with you, Nikki says. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you were. I'm yeah. trusting that you meant you were also singing <laughs> in light language yeah, with us. Yeah, with us. Yeah. Yes, that's such a beautiful activation and it's so childlike. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, that's one of, in my tiredness tonight, I felt this, this desire to to go into more toning. I could have come on this live stream and just gone into toning together, mm -hmm. but that might not yeah. have been very bridging for everybody's experience. <laughs> so we wanted to use the mental body and the... Well, especially the, these these aspects are, are, you know, they're not mental no. either. So we were trying to put into words, the, I'm sure yeah. for you too, it's like, I, I don't know what they're saying to me, but there's just a feeling of support. Yeah, isn't that... A reminder of that movie Contact, where they had to learn the language. Um, or that was Arrival, Arrival. Arrival. Those are yeah. both good movies. Actually, I'm glad Arrival. you brought them up. Those are great movies. Arrival for... and the humility. Yeah. I just want to read uh, Kasha's here. Mm -hmm. I was immediately in a sort of space bubble, floating in fetal position toward Sirius. It was so comforting and alive. Mm -hmm. The scene switched to being on a light ship as Anira my galactic lioness aspect, and they were heading towards Egypt to meet with my soul aspect in Egypt. Mm. Goodness. The connection with her is truly ancient. Mm. So that feels kind of like it sets up perhaps for the, the next one in the series or unfolds as we go, which that feels really wonderful. Mm. And again, um, Kosh has been in this process for a lot of years and, and working with lifting the veils and going into these kind of inner spaces. So, you know, able to tune in pretty yeah. quickly. <laughs> and so so used to our energy as well. Yeah. Uh, do you want to read Rihanna's, though? I You're not getting not updates. Seen, no, okay. I don't. Um, Rihanna, quite the transmission. I felt a recent Egyptian aspect communing with the lioness, and she encouraged her to keep opening, keep being vulnerable, keep going inwards. Wow. Like walking through a desert until it becomes more and more of an oasis. Mm. That felt so inspiring, and that mm. she would be there to support both of us as we make that desert walk every day and every moment we can. Ooh. Okay. Mm. Wow. Desert to the oasis. And an I, I see. <laughs> I feel much resonance and have a headache, which feels like a good thing somehow. Singing with you was beautiful. Hmm. Yeah, something um there's a lot of a lot of codes coming in here into the into the brain and also wanting to upgrade um from that place too so sometimes it's just it is discomfort before it is relief right um yeah. here you can read Demetrius if I hand you mine I kept seeing a pride of lions mm -hmm. that was and then a lion king maybe because I mentioned it <laughs> Demetra said it's interesting that it took me to a cave space as hijacked pride land meeting my Lyran aspect mm -hmm. an inner space hijacked space for Rahu her protector I believe uh, gatekeeper his rejection wounding actually actually he kept saying to me 
to not close my heart and how much he wants to be closer to me. Mm. Mm. He waited so long for this time now that my, my grandpa and my dad is not on this timeline. There's no patriarchal energies and potent for him to remember who he is without these projections, mm. right? With that potent recent passing of your father and uh, that is feels really integrated. Oh, yeah, that's quite a journey and, and fits even where we went in session yesterday. So it was an expansion as well. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you everyone for, I thought I saw a comment from Nikki in here too. Cleansing, beautiful, feel dreamy and refreshed. Oh. Thank you. I saw an aspect of myself I've glimpsed since I was young. Oh. Egyptian princess. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, it was interesting because the energies felt... Uh, you you know whatever you wherever you went is sacred it's just they felt sort of playful to me and I think because we were connecting um, in some ways to the star seed energy within that was kind of what I was guided that could could come up and so I was seeing lions playing like um, Simba and Nala in Lion King yeah. you know how they they pounce on each other so I was seeing some of that and then some was a bit playful mm. what was coming through you was coming through me and I I just kind of felt that was that was what they were inviting us to to feel even about this whole thing that we've set up here about galactic and serious and don't get too serious it's kind <laughs> of what I'm about serious it's kind of what I'm hearing so I think whatever range you felt in that maybe doing this um, if you're watching the recording and you're on your own your own space and of course, um, you might expand it as well through the music that we shared. Also, Kasha, I had I had a couple meditations I wanted to share that Kasha will share in the comments, and I'll I'll share them in the description on YouTube as well. One is to connect with your star seed and star family that Raphael and I did in our Deepen series, and the other one is to music that I found. Um, it has over ten thousand views. That one, and, and people told me through that meditation for the first mm -hmm. time they felt a galactic connection and that it was quite easy and mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. What was so, the name of that meditation? Uh, uh, just Star, I think Star Seed or Activation Star connection. Family. Um, okay. Yeah, there's two that, that Kasha is sharing there. So one has a bit more teaching, and then the other one is more to music. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to provide that each week as well, which is follow up videos and also um, highly recommend taking in my book if you haven't yet free to be 5d it's now on audio version on YouTube read in my voice and we also have it in PDF and it's on print and um, ebook on Amazon so that is a really nice overview of all of this and also what we offer two more things um, one of them is that we have a private online community now connected to our website. As much as we appreciate social media for the broad range that it offers, we also enjoy being off of it into a more private space. And that is what we have provided in what we call the portal. And we will give you a link as well in the description so that you can read more about joining that. Um, it's just a monthly donation and includes a group call with us over Zoom, exclusive sharings, reflections, feedback from us, and, and basically being connected. Um, many of the people that have commented today and are there. And the final piece is one-on-one -on -one sessions. If you're feeling this particular portal of Lionsgate is, a, is an important time for you, um, you can... Uh, connect with us around an intro, a free intro, if you've never had a session before, or if you have in the past, we can dive right in and see what mm -hmm. comes up. Wow! So those are all my so those are resources to share with you. Powerful invitations, and 
thank you to all of you. Thank you, Jalel, for um, having this wave of inspiration come through mm. and seeing this series of the next six Wednesdays together, other than the 8-8 eight, eight is going to be bumped to the, so to the, the Thursday. Next four Wednesdays and one Thursday. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, because this is the first one. Yeah. Thank you for uh, that desire and clarity and seeing through how we can make this into more even deeper intention more connected thank mm -hmm. you to each of you for uh, being here and this desire to come back again and share in these intentions and feel what we're all co-creating together and I take your presence into my heart as a part of our soul family support that enables this bridging to our star family so there's a shared uh, support structure that we're all co-creating together and we also um, appreciate your donations in exchange yeah. for this series if you feel like offering them of course and we will gladly receive and it kind of places your intention um, in yeah. the space as well and I, I shared the different ways that you can offer through PayPal and our shop and credit debit and bank transfer and all kinds of different ways so we appreciate mm -hmm. that as well yeah that feels like uh, it and this is you know inviting you to feel does this feel like something to share a donation with us does it feel like it would deepen your intention and serve you and that would be the only grounds on which we would like to receive your donation and with that donation though it because of those intentions and that awareness around it it uh, is multiplied into our hearts and back to you we feel in the super abundant reality so absolutely yeah thank you for going in with us and taking this in going in and coming out and <laughs> coming back in and we'll see you next week okay you guys okay all right bye for now